You put forward that resolution that you just mentioned, calling for humanitarian pauses. The US, as you say, vetoed that resolution. It would have passed if it wasn't for the US. And then 29 days later, there was a very similar resolution, and the US allowed that one to pass by abstaining this time. By my calculations, in the in those 29 days, there were 7,600 additional deaths. 3,653 of them were children. What do you make of the U.S.'s action here? Well, this is an answer, James, that sincerely I can't manage to understand. I can't manage to understand that a man is so important as President Biden, the president of the most important country of the planet, they had, had not the sensitivity to shout out to stop that war. They have a lot of influence over Israel. They have a lot of influence, economic, financial, military influence, and political influence. So they could have stopped the war and sit around the negotiation table to talk. The word is less expensive than a weapon, and the word uh, kills less than a rifle. So war doesn't lead to anything. So to Wait seven and kill seven thousand people, fifteen thousand people, seven thousand children. Destroy forty thousand houses. Destroy the hospital, even children inside the hospital, and then accept an agreement that they could have uh, accepted before. 